Hello friends, welcome back once again to my video tutorial. Today I have another new video for you on MapStruck. So in our last video we learned about a basic mapping using MapStruck where our entity class and the DTO class have the same field length. Okay, so in our last video we learned how to do mapping between two Java beans when we have the same field length. Correct. But what if the beans we are about to map has different field lengths? How will map these two pins where we have the different field length okay so we learned that in today's video that is mapping field with different field length correct right? so let's get started for this let me go to my workspace here you can see this is the project we have created last time bring it with master demo so here i have the two java bins i have created a dto user dto let me open this one so this is my user detail where I have the field like ID, first name, last name, email ID and contact number. So similarly I have the corresponding entity class for user that is user entity. Okay. So this is my user entity. So here I have the field ID, first name, last name, email and phone number. So if you mark here, see here. In user detail, I have the field email ID. But here in user, I have email. In user DTO, I have contact number. But here in user entity, I have phone number. So that means my user DTO field name and user entity field name are not same for email and phone number. Okay, ID, first name, last name are same in both the bins. But email and phone number are not same in user and user DTO classes. Okay, here I have email and phone number, but here I have email ID and contact number. So we will see how we can map these fields by using MapStruck. Okay, so here this is the entity DTO. Also, I have created a controller for this user controller. So here also I have some endpoints like to save user, I have slash user endpoint to get user by ID, user slash ID, then to get all the users I have class users endpoint okay so here in, inside the service class user service i have all the business logic so if i go to this service class then i can show you here you can see to so save user is there get user by id is there and get user list is there okay so like in our previous video i have also created a mapper that is user mapper to map between user dto and user so here the first method is two entity that means it converts user DTO to user entity. The second is two DTO that will convert user to user DTO and two DTO list that will convert list of user object to list of user DTO. Okay. So these things we have already discussed in our previous video how we can map using this user mapper interface. Okay. So we need to create an interface then all the methods could be written inside this interface and MapStruck will automatically give the implementation for these methods during build time. Okay, so we have seen all those things in our previous video. So if I go to my user service, then you can see here by using user repository.save method, here I pass user mapper dot two entity. So it will accept user DTO. Correct. So that means the user DTO will convert it to user entity and we will save this user entity to our database. Similarly in get user by id method we have used user reported at find by id so that will return the user then we will map this to convert it to dto so user mapper method reference to dto or else or else return new user dto so that is find by id i mean to get a particular user by id then to fetch the user list we have the final method and by using the true DTO list, we convert it to list of user DTO. So that's it. Okay. So let me just quickly run this application to see what is the output for these endpoints. So let me run this application. Okay. So my application started on port 1990. Uh, let me go to my browser and hit localhost 1990. Plus other UI dot HTML. So here you can see user controller is there. So let me quickly save some user. 
write out contact number I can pass like uh, any random number I am providing email ID let's say this uh, at gmail.com and first name let's say Lipsa so ID will be automatically generated let me remove this one so, last name let's say password okay so let me get execute so, check the response so see ID 35, first name Lipsa, last name Patra, email and phone number is not. So why email and phone number is not mapped from DTO to NTT? So let's investigate again. So as I said here you can see ID, first name and last name inside user DTO and ID, first name, last name in user NTT are same. That's why MapStruck able to map it automatically. But email and phone number field in user entity and in user DTO are different. Here email ID is there instead of email. Here contact number is there instead of phone number. So here MapStruck was unable to map our pins because we have the different field name. So if I go to this user mapper implementation class then you can see how the mapping is taking place inside this class. So let me open, this is present inside what? Target, generate sources and annotation. So here, as I mentioned at the build time, automatically master will generate the implementation class for this interface. See here, user mapper implementation is there. So let me open this one. So see, so when we convert to entity, that means user DTO to user. In this case, see, so only first name, ID and last name is set. Okay, so we get the data from user DTO and set it to user entity but for the email id and phone number there is no setter method is there understood why because we have the different field name so master was unable to map these two fields correct similarly here in two DTO also user and user DTO have different field names for email id and contact number so you see here also only first name id and last name is set so there is no setter for email id and contact number so we need to explicitly configure its source field to target field or we need to tell mapstruck use this source to target to map to fields okay so how we can do this so to do that we need to use one annotation inside our user mapper that is at the rate mapping so we need to add this annotation at the rate mapping for each field which have different field name so how we can do this? Let's see. See, so this is two entity. We are converting user DTO to user. Correct. So let me simply annotate this as at the rate mapping. Just remember it. At the rate mapping, we need to provide here. And inside this, we need to explicitly tell MapStruck use the corresponding source to target to map map. Okay. So here we need to provide the source first. So source, let's say here source is what? Here source is user DTO. We are providing user DTO and we want to convert it to user entity. So source is user DTO. So which field we need to map? So in user DTO we have two fields like email ID and contact number. So we need to map the email ID of this source to the target email of this one, user. Understood? We have ID, first name, last name. We don't need to map it because MapStruck will automatically map these uh, map these fields. ID, first name, last name because this ID, first name, and last name are same in user DTO and in user entity class. But we need to provide the mapping explicitly for these two fields, email and phone number. So here our source is what? Our source is user DTO. Why? And target is user. Understood? So inside user mapper, I will provide the source like email ID. So email ID I will provide over here. So it will match to what? Comma target. So target will be what? Target will be email. See. So email id field of user DTO will be mapped to email field of user. Email field of user. Understood? So similarly, 
similarly we will put another mapping for phone number as well so here contact number field of user dto contact number field of user dto will map to what target is what map to phone number field of user entity so i'll copy phone number and put it over here understood so we need to explicitly map for these two fields because these two fields are different in our source and target or in our user dto and user entity understood so here user dto is the source and user is the target so accordingly we need to define the source and target field understood this one two entity so similarly for two dto also we need to provide the mapping when we are converting user to user dto okay so so here in this case source and target will be different so here source is what our input is user and target is user dto so here in case of this i can write source is email that will be map to email id of target user dto okay and here source is phone number and source is phone number see inside user we have the phone number so source is phone number and target is contact number target is contact number understood why because in this case our output is user dto and input is user so source is phone number target is contact number clear so now i can save this one and now if i run this application to check the output then i am assuming i'll get the email and phone number this time after mapping okay so let me rerun this application again to check the output okay so my application started on 1990 so let me go to the browser and try to save another record okay and we'll check whether email id and contact number is mapped or not okay let me provide some random number here email id uh, let me provide like abc abc first name last name is xyz okay let me hit execute so see now email and phone number is mapped okay to email id and contact number of user dto and also i am able to get this two fields value in the response okay similarly if i hit the get user by id by giving the id let's say id i am providing 36 here and i'll get the execute then i'll get the id first name last name email id and contact number as well okay so email id contact number is also mapped so we can map user dto to user entity and vice versa okay so if i now check the implementation class for this user mapper then you can see the phone number field and email id is mapped see earlier it is not there correct now email id and phone number is mapped why because explicitly we tell master see okay, this is my source and this is my target please map this one understood so that's it for today's video hope you understand how we can map uh, to java beans which have different field names so i hope you enjoy this video I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching thank you